what's good we back with another video this is actually a subscriber request shout out to them today we're gonna break down some video effects in 5500 degrees now before we get to the rest of the video real quick i got a new transition pack i released it's actually a demo pack with three transitions and the full pack is seven bucks with 11 transitions and six sound effects if you want to help support the channel otherwise if you could hit that like button if we can get this video to at least 100 likes i'll truly appreciate it without further ado let's get into the video now the 5500 degrees video mainly used two effects a speed ramping and a quick zoom simple but very effective now to set this effect you need camera motion so if you're the one behind the camera make sure you're moving the camera side to side up and down basically all around capturing your subject in different angles and basically you're going to speed ramp in between those angles i got this clip here of this drunk high white boy i swear these folks on these stock clips look crazy but we're going to use it because it has a little bit of a camera moving in and i can kind of make the video effect work all right we're calling a quick audible i actually found a better clip so i'm actually go through here and find different camera angles and motions that i want to apply the effect to the fault of this effect is not uh mapped to any key so if you go over here to the right to the upper left hand corner i'm sorry and click the venture resolve click on the keyboard customization go to the search and type in retime oh. you're looking for retime curve a retime curve like i said is not mapped to anything i got it set as alt r but you can set as anything you want to otherwise you have to right click and go into the menu and look for retime curve and once you do that you'll actually bring up retime frame drop the hit the drop down arrow and then click retime speed and uncheck frame and you just want to click away and so you want to find like so right here the camera kind of zooms out a little bit before or kind of somewhat focus it on him here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold alt on the keyboard and i'm going to click on this little red line here i'm going to go back to about right here where you start pointing his finger hold alt again and click the button well on the timeline i set another keyframe then i'm going to move my cursor in between those two points you see here that the cursor actually changed design and i'm going to pull straight up and this little line here is representation of the speed increase right now it's at 300 percent so if you play it back that's cool if you want to go a little bit higher you actually go over here and highlight the numbers and then slide to the right it increase even further right now it's at 530 that's pretty much good enough for the video i'm gonna click on the keyframe i'm gonna change from it's linear right now i'm gonna straighten them down i'm gonna change it add a little curve to it creating a little ease in and ease out as you play it now you notice it doesn't have any motion blur so we're actually going to adjust that with a adjustment clip now if you want to you can close this down i'm going to effects i'm going to my favorites grab my adjustment clip and bring it on the key on the timeline and i'm going to open up the retime curve again so i can see exactly where the curve is then i'm going to split the clip on the adjustment clip the rest of it away uh you can go over a little, just a little bit more kind of have a little a little bit of overhang a little bit but that's gonna keyframe a blur effect i'm gonna go get directional blur which is already highlighted here and drop it on a clip oh it didn't catch drop it on a clip as you can see there the blur is kind of look like it's kind of going to the right a little bit i'm just going to effects and I'm going to double click the numbers here on the blur angle, type in zero. It's going to give you more or less like a neutral, kind of neutral grounds. And then I'm actually going to hit the keyframe here on the blur strength and drop it down to zero. And get back to the, probably about the midway point. Crank it up, not too high. And get to the end. Go back over one frame and drop it back down. It's a real quick little keyframe effect. For the quick zoom effect, you're gonna grab another adjustment clip, drop it on your timeline. You more or less want to drop this in where it's like a base hit. And basically what you're gonna do is take the adjustment clip and you're gonna go into fusion. You're gonna grab your transform node. Now you can just keyframe size if you want to and just kind of create this little quick punch in using keyframes, but I'm actually gonna use atom curves on this one. I'm gonna right click on size, I'm gonna modify width, atom curves, I'm going to the modifiers, the scale set at five i'm gonna change that to one and the offset i'm gonna change that to one as well time speed i'm gonna change it to three 
and play it and get a little quick zoom in. Now to get the zoom out, the zoom in, zoom out effect. First, I'm gonna change the curve from linear to easing. Let me use shine for this. And then I'm gonna hit mirror. And that's gonna actually give you the punch in, punch out real quick. Then I'm gonna go back into tools, settings, motion blur, crank it all the way up. You can change the shutter angle if you want to, but I'm just leave it at 180 and crank this up to 10 and that's going to give you the quick zoom effect well it's like a finished result got a speed ramp and got the little motion blur there then got the quick zoom Now, it's not the most ideal footage to work with for the effect, for the speed ramping. Hopefully, it still give you enough idea of how to use the effect. The rest of the effects in the video is basically just masking, which I've gone over before. You can check out this playlist to get an idea of where to start. And make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'll see you in the next video.